Hello everyone, Pharmaville welcomes you all busy people to yet another learning video. In this video, we will learn about the Biocon Limited 483 observations. As you might be aware of the fact that couple of weeks back, US FDA has issued Form 483 to Biocon Limited. I hope those who are working in the US FDA approved plants, they might be aware of this. So well friends, Bengaluru facility of the Biocon Limited was inspected by US FDA in the month of August from 11th of August to 26th of August 2022. It was almost 12 days audit if you exclude Saturdays and Sundays. There were four auditors who conducted the audit and their names were Michael R. Shanks, Arsen Kriptin, Ralph M. Brinstein and Zong Yu. So guys, these four auditors has given total 11 number of observations. So let us understand all these observations one by one. Observation number one. Procedures designed to prevent the microbiological contaminations were not established and followed. So under this observation, auditors has mentioned six examples and most of the examples were related to the manufacturing area. Let us understand few examples. Well, friends, auditors has verified the smoke study videos and they concluded that during the smoke studies, aseptic behavior was not followed by the operators who were involved in the smoke study. In another example, auditors found that one of the operator was not wearing the goggles properly and uh, there was a gap between the goggle strap and operator's head. Therefore, auditors stated that goggles are used to protect the skin exposure to aseptic environment conditions. If all the body parts are not covered properly, then particles can shed from the exposed skin parts and it can later contaminate the drug product. Now comes the observation number two. Under this observation, auditors has given four examples and for each example, there are further multiple examples. So the title of the observation number two is facilities of your firm were not adequate to ensure the prevention of contamination of equipment or products by environmental conditions. Now let us understand some of the examples mentioned under observation number two. So auditors found that there were multiple cases of the fungal contamination during the environmental monitoring studies and firm was failed to identify the root cause for the fungal contamination. There were no appropriate kappas were placed to prevent the fungal contamination. In another example, auditors verified the disinfectant efficacy study report and they concluded that your disinfectant efficacy study report do not support the sanitization procedure for antimicrobial and sporicidal effectiveness. One more example has mentioned under observation number two, which is related to poorly maintained facility. So auditors observed chipped and cracked floor in the manufacturing area. Now problem here is that if there are cracks or rough surfaces in the manufacturing area, then it's very difficult to clean such surfaces. And later, such hard to clean surfaces provide suitable environment for the microbial growth. Along with this, auditors also observed rust on the one of the equipment. Now comes the observation number three and the title of the observation number three is written records of the investigations do not include the conclusion and the follow-ups always. So under this observation, auditors has mentioned number of examples of the OS investigation reports which they have reviewed during the audit. So auditors observed that the root cause and the kappas were not adequate. Let us see one such example. So this is the OS number and this was logged on 20th of November 2020. This was stability long-term condition 24th month interval sample and OOS was logged for the test IEX HPLC. Root cause for this OS was concluded as a poor column performance. Now to prove the root cause, hypothesis was done without using the original sample. So new sample was used to perform the hypothesis and hypothesis was done after two months which is not at all acceptable. So this much delay for the investigation conclusion is not acceptable by any of the regulatory agency. Now comes the observation number four and the title of the observation number four is deviations from the written procedures and the laboratory mechanisms were not recorded and justified. Under this observation, auditors found that there were multiple sequences interrupted and data missing related errors in the Empower software. But your firm has not investigated these incidents properly and there was no appropriate kappa proposed. One more example is mentioned under observation number 4 according to which on 14th of August 2021 during the routine walkthrough of your quality head one intact sample was found 
which was kept in the sample storage refrigerator. However, testing record indicated that the analysis was already completed and VATCH was released into the Indian market. Root cause for this discrepancy was concluded as analyst used reference standard instead of test sample for the analysis. Now, impact assessment done for this discrepancy was not adequate. Now comes the observation number 5 and the title of the observation number 5 is your firm's quality units oversight of your manufacturing and laboratory operations were inadequate. So under this observation, auditors has given six examples. So let us understand few of them. Auditors found that there was no adequate data integrity program in place to ensure that the chromatographic and non-chromatographic electronic data generated by the quality control laboratory is complete, consistent and accurate. In another example, auditors stated that your quality unit has not fully exercised the responsibilities related to the qualification of critical services providers. For example, third party responsible for the validation of clean rooms was not audited on site by your quality unit. Now comes the observation number six and the title of the observation number six is there is a lack of assurance that cleaning procedures for the equipments are effective in preventing the cross contamination. So under this observation, auditors found that cleaning verification procedures do not include hard to clean parts. For example, gaskets, valves and o-rings. Now comes the observation number seven. And the title of the observation number seven is laboratory controls do not include establishment of the scientifically sound and appropriate standards to assure that components and in-process materials conforms to the appropriate standards of identity, strength, quality, and purity. So under this observation, auditors found that integration of the chromatographic data was not done adequately. In another example, auditors found that STV for the microscopy test was not adequate. So whatever the procedure analyst follows during the analysis, same was not mentioned in your STV for microscopy test. So here you can see the example for the microscopy test STP. Now comes the observation number 8 and the title of the observation number 8 is Your firm has not established adequate procedural controls for the electronic data acquisition systems and manufacturing control systems. So under this observation, auditors found that data logger was used during the calibration of the QC instruments, temperature mapping and the thermal validations. But data logger was not validated to protect original electronic data and related metadata. So here you can see the detail of the data logger which is mentioned in this form 483. One more example is mentioned under observation number 8 according to which before installing updated versions of the software, revalidation was not completed and instruments were used for the GMP operations. So here you can see the examples mentioned. Now comes the observation number 9 and the title of the observation number 9 is Computer systems used for the testing of the drug products were not of appropriate design. Under this observation, auditors has given two examples. First example is related to the Empower 3 software and second example is related to the CCTV camera footage which was installed in the microbiology lab. Let us understand observation related to the Empower 3 software first. So guys, auditors has observed that the number of interrupted sequences with incomplete data. Now why these sequences were interrupted or why incomplete data appeared? So firm has not done any kind of investigation for the interrupted sequences and for the incomplete data errors. Now comes the second example and it is related to the CCTV camera footage. Well friends, in this observation, auditors has mentioned that your firm has a SOP related to the CCTV camera footage verification and it was written that in the SOP that CCTV camera footage can be reviewed during any OS investigation. Now auditors has asked for the software validation details and they found that there was no software validation was done for the CCTV camera footage software. Along with this auditors also observed that one of the OS was invalidated using the evidences from the CCTV footage. Now auditors has asked, do you have any kind of data storage procedures of such videos which are used as a evidence during the OS investigation? 
but forum said they don't have any kind of procedure with respect to storage of the cctv footage now comes the observation number 10 and the title of the observation number 10 is gmp equipments were used outside their validated acceptance criteria now let us see why auditors said like this so what happened during the audit auditors observed that there were multiple temperature excursions observed for the stability chambers and no deviations were logged for the temperature excursions in this observation auditors has mentioned chambers which were validated for the 2 to 8 degree celsius observation number 11 this is the last observation under this observation auditors found that critical utilities which were used for the manufacturing of the drug products were not qualified So guys these were 11 observations which were issued by US FDA to Biocon Bengaluru facility whatever examples mentioned in the form 483 we have understood very few of them if you still want more details about these observations then you can check the link given in the description or you can visit the US FDA website to download the form 483 so this is it for today hope you have learned something new today bye bye and happy learning